Welcome to the lab. I'm Drew Collip. In today's lab, we're going to continue our milk analysis series by examining the levels of polysaccharide in our different milk and milk product samples. We will do this using the iodine test. When iodine is added to starch, it turns a dark blue color. When iodine is added to glycogen, it turns an amber color. We will be using distilled water as our negative control. For our positive controls, we use a 1% solution of starch and a 1% solution of glycogen. Throughout this series, I have not told you exactly what the unknown samples are. I don't want this to influence your observations. After reviewing all the different tests on the milks, I'd like you to identify specifically what milk or milk product you have, or have a general idea whether you have a milk or a milk product. For this test, I've added 50 microliters of each sample into this dish. I will then add one single drop of iodine to each and observe what happens. Here's our negative control, water. Here we have our positive control for starch and you can see it slowly turns a dark blue color. This one takes a bit more time. And we have our positive control for glycogen. You can see immediately it does turn amber. All of the controls were transparent when made up. All of the milk and milk products are not transparent. So please take that into account when you're making your observations. All of these milk and milk products were purchased from the local grocery store. Everything from creamer to 2% milk to coconut milk and even cashew milk. I will provide a list sorted alphabetically so you have a general idea of which ones we're dealing with. Let's add our first drop to sample number one. Make sure you record down all your observations, comparing it to both the negative and to the positive controls. Sample number two. Sample number three. Sample number four. Sample number five. Sample number six. Sample number seven. Sample number eight. Sample number nine. Sample number 10. Sample number 11. And sample number 12. You might notice that some of these samples didn't mix thoroughly. I'm going to use a pipette tip to mix some of them. I will use a separate one for each individual sample so as not to cross contaminate.
Now that we've mixed all the samples, make your observations, comparing your individual samples to both your positive and negative controls, and comparing them to each other. Observe everything you can, including the relative levels of any color change you might notice. This can assist you in determining what type of milk or milk product you're dealing with. The iodine test is a test for polysaccharides. This is many monosaccharides joined together. In our next lab, we'll look at the levels of monosaccharides in the different milk and milk products using Barfoid's test. I'll add a link at the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. Until next time.